After nine years of this NDP Liberal Prime Minister, Canadians are getting poorer. His inflationary deficits are pushing up inflation and interest rates. That's because when the Prime Minister goes into the markets and borrows billions and billions to fund his spending spree, that bids up the interest rates for everyone else. And a new report from the Bank of Canada is shocking. Average mortgage payments will rise by more than 20 percent in the next couple of years. Where the heck are Canadian families supposed to come up with an extra few hundred dollars just to pay higher mortgage payments for the homes they already own? Yeah. I'm going to ask members just to be very conscious of the language that they use. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, given that it is my first opportunity to speak in the House today, I want to speak about a very grave threat to Canadians. Last week, the Conservative leader said he is going to ignore our charter rights. That's right. This week, a Conservative MP stood up in this House and said he's opposed to a woman's right to choose. And now Conservative MPs are outside attacking a woman's right to choose. So now we know the truth. They're going to attack our charter rights. They're going to attack the rights of every woman in Canada. Hear, hear. Thank you, colleagues. And certainly we all want to hear the member from Regina Capella. I'll ask the member from New Brunswick Southwest, who is a respected member in this House, uh, to please uh, to hold back until he has his voice. The Honourable Member from Regina Capel. None of that is true, Mr. Speaker. She's just de desperate to distract from her own record. And she's, she's trying to console Canadians by saying that everything's okay because she hasn't quite maxed out the national credit card just yet. But all of that spending and borrowing is having an impact. In fact, Desjardins Financial has concluded that output, output per capita fell in every province last year, which is the broadest base standard of living decline in Canadian history other than the pandemic, costing Canadian families $4,200 a month. Will somebody over there please cut up the national credit card before more Canadians go bankrupt? Yeah. Again, I'm going to ask all members to please uh, to, be, uh, to only take the floor, and I'll ask the Honourable Member from Orleans, who is also another respected member of the House, to please uh, only take the floor when she is addressed. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, there was a lot of shouting while I was speaking from the other side of the House. And that is because they are afraid that Canadians are starting to understand their real plan. Canadians have seen they hang out with white supremacists and don't disavow them. Canadians have seen they are getting ready to tear up the Charter of Rights. And now we know the first right they're going to attack a woman's right to choose, just like the far right has done south of the border. But we will not let them. Here, here. The Honourable Member from Regina Capel. We'll take no lessons from a government that's trampling over free speech rights by trying to control the internet and control what Canadians can see and post online. Well, Mr. Speaker, for random Liberals hoping that when the outgoing Prime Minister finally leaves, a new Liberal leader will rescue them, they're about to be sorely disappointed. Mark Carbon Tax Carney continued his Liberal leadership campaign in the Senate yesterday, where he pushed the same radical agenda, endorsed the current Prime Minister's carbon tax, and couldn't come up with even a penny to cut in wasteful spending. If Mark Carbon Tax Carney won't do it, the current Prime Minister won't do it, will somebody over there axe the tax and fix the budget? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, I am really delighted to hear the Conservative House Leader talk about the rights of Canadians and how important they are. I'm a woman, I'm a mother, and let me tell you what the most fundamental right of every woman and girl in Canada is. The right to control your own body. It is time for the Conservatives to stand up and clearly say, are they going to defend a woman's right to choose? Because what we're hearing from them is they want to end it.